Skinny Pigs One here. So today's video, I am going to talk about Sherwood's new formula of their pellets. We're going to compare the new versus the older version. I am also going to share with you my pig's first reactions. And I'm going to let you know, are we going to switch to the new formula or are we staying on the old formula? So as you know from videos in the past, I have been feeding Sherwood Pet Health pellets for over a year and a half now. So the bag on the left is their alfalfa timothy version. Soy free, grain free, no fillers, molasses, no added calcium. So that is why we switched over to it a year and a half ago and I have been loving it and so have the piggies. Just recently, however, they have come out with a Timothy only version. So no alfalfa in the bag on the right. So they said they did this because there's still a lot of people for whatever reason, personal reasons, um, don't want to use the alfalfa version. They're not comfortable with it or they have a pig that shouldn't be on it, etc. So they wanted to be able to reach out to more people, allow more people to have the option to feed their pigs a pellet without all the extras and to have it be just plain Timothy. So I think this is an awesome thing. So you have your two options for everybody. So you can feed the one on the left, you can feed the one on the right. You could probably mix them together. But there is a difference between the left and the right besides just the alfalfa. So what makes the pellet on the right new and improved compared to the pellet on the left? So apparently it is all to do with the protein. The digestible protein in the one on the right is even more concentrated, more improved. So they say that 90% can be digested before it even reaches the cecum. So now let's go over the guaranteed analysis. I'm going to read it out to you because these bags are brand new and a little bit warped. So I'm, I know you're not going to be able to see it. So crude po protein for the alfalfa is 14%. The Just Timothy is also 14 Crude fat, minimum of 5% for the alfalfa, minimum of 7% for the Timothy. Crude fiber, 24 to 29% for t alfalfa, 26 to 31% for Timothy. Calcium, 1% to 1.6% for alfalfa. And we are at 0.4 and 0.9% for the Timothy. So there is a big variation there. Obviously without the alfalfa there is a drastic drop in the calcium content. Phosphorus 0.4% for alfalfa, 0.5% for the Timothy. Salt 0.25 to 0.75% for alfalfa, 0.8 to 1.3% for the Timothy. So there is more salt in the Timothy on the right. Vitamin C, a thousand milligrams per kilogram for the alfalfa. And we've got 2000 milligrams per kilogram for the Timothy. So it is double. So it really is true that the Timothy on the right is a lot more concentrated for that. So now let's talk about the ingredients. What are the differences? So on the alfalfa, we have alfalfa, hay, timothy hay, whole flax, whole safflower. The timothy, we have timothy hay, safflower, whole flax. So basically the exact same thing minus the alfalfa. So the rest of the ingredients are exactly the same. So we will now look at the Timothy bag because this is the bag that actually says that you should be portioning it out based on their weight. So let's read the feeding directions. Feed a limited amount of pellets. See the chart below. So it says to offer it with first and second cut hay. Often third cut hay is too rich, which I have found that as well. If your guinea pig doesn't eat enough hay, then feed less treats and re less greens. 100% agree with that. Hay is the most important. They will begin to eat more hay and drink more water. For best results, follow the diet plan above, hay and pellets only. So I know that's something that Sherwood talks about where they really think greens should be fed minimum if at all. So there's no need to supplement with additional vitamin C when feeding this diet. 
And as we spoke about before, there's 2,000 milligrams per kilogram in these pellets. So based on your guinea pig's weight, so 500 to 700 gram pig can have up to a three quarter of a tablespoon, which is 12 to 18 milligrams in vitamin C. 700 to 900 grams can have up to one tablespoon, which is 18 to 24 milligrams of vitamin C. 900 and plus grams can have one plus tablespoons, which is 24 to 30 milligrams of vitamin C per day. Now that we've talked about the pellets, compared ingredients, compared the analysis, spoke a little bit about how you're supposed to feed them, and addressed that the bag on the right is much more concentrated, especially for the vitamin C, which is awesome, and for the protein. Now let's see what the guinea pigs think. So as you know, I feed the one on the left, but I'm going to let them pick. So you're gonna see their first reaction. So in the right, we are putting Sherwood's alfalfa timothy pellet. Now on the left of the dish, we're going to put the all timothy pellet. So right side is what we've been feeding, the alfalfa timothy mix. Left side is their new formula. So this is going to go into the herd's cage. So I'm placing it here. So right side, alfalfa timothy, left side, timothy. Wow, they must have been able to smell that already. That's interesting. Tubbies. Well, I didn't know you guys would be this excited. I thought I would just wait till morning to see which looked down farther. very interesting that Raisin is eating. She's the one I see eat the other pellets the least. Hardly ever catch her eating pellets. Well, isn't this interesting? So Tubby's is at the alfalfa. And now she's sniffing the Timothy. Okay, let's not fight. This wasn't supposed to be a fight video. guys okay actually like I literally thought nobody was gonna come over here I was just placing it down for video purposes so that we could see what it looked like in the morning but apparently it's the smorgasbord now and Velvie's coming over hi Velvie Is Velvet going to come over to let it? Yeah, she is. So Velvet would be the other pig of the herd who I don't catch too often eating pellets. Like, I still see her and Ray eat pellets, but the biggest pellet eaters are Reese, Huckle, Apple, and Pecan. So this is very interesting. Are you coming over, Apple? Okay, so Velvet has sniffed the Timothy alfalfa, but she's going back for the Timothy. I, I'm really shocked. I expected to not see anybody give a hoot about the change. Oh, but no, I think Velvet just took a Timothy alfalfa one. Well, this is very interesting. I have never in my life seen Raisin digging in like this. Pucky loves it too. Oh, I think Velvet is reaching over. Yes, she is. We have our feet in the other side of the dish. Oh, well, this is cool. I'm glad.
Oh, Huckle. So Raisin, like, 100% is loving those. Even Velvet is eating them up. Hey, Reesey. I don't know if there's any room for you to join in. Let's see what you think. Reese loves the alfalfa Timothy. So I'll be curious what she's going to reach. I don't really want a food fight, but... Jeez. Looks like she's sniffing over at the other side too. She wants to know what this new stuff is. Yeah, everybody's just stepping in the alfalfa Timothy side. And Reese is digging in. Very interesting. Huckle, you're such a bum. There's plenty to share. Is Reese going to go back for the more Timothy? If she can. Yep, she's coming back. This is how desperate we're stepping into the alfalfa side to get to the Timothy side. Ray, you're just loving those. Alright, well, I guess we'll put some in the other cages and see what they think. So I've come back a few minutes later, and Raisin is still eating. Hockey just came back for more. Reese is eating. Velvet just ran away, because that's Velvet. Oh, are you finished? You done, Ray? Ray's taking a water break. Reese doesn't care about that alfalfa side. She is stepping in it. What do you think? Yeah, that's not very polite putting your feet in there. Wow, the piggies have spoken. So I am going to wait to put it in the other guys' cages, to be honest, because I still have some bags of the alfalfa to use so I think it'll just be the herd that I'll switch over to Timothy and right now I'll use the alfalfa for the other guys oh, are you eating some alfalfa too Hucky? maybe they're gonna want to mix I don't know I guess we'll come back in the morning and we'll see oh no he's back to the Timothy yeah I guess we'll see in the morning what it looks like 